very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, righteous heroes, honored dignitaries. Of course, my friend Arthur Hoffman, the head of the SKG, for the good work and the important work that you are doing here today. And actually, we came here today to honor and actually to salute the Polish righteous heroes, righteous among the nations. And indeed, it is a true honor to speak to all of you here today. You know, in April this year, 120 miles west of Warsaw, a town square was given a new name, dedicated to a certain Yitzhak Kotowski. Mr. Kotowski was a humble man, a simple, hard-working man, a family man, and a very, very proud Jew. And he would probably be very and highly embarrassed if he knew that a town square was to be called after his family. He would probably ask, why him? Why now? Well, Mr. Kotowski had been the head of it, of his Jewish community, the leader of the Jewish community in Skulsk, his hometown down here in Poland. And like six other million Jews, his brothers and sisters, our brothers and sisters, he was brutally murdered in a concentration Nazi camp in 1942, on the very soil on which he was born and raised. It's Hakotowski's story is one of, quite literally, millions of similar Holocaust stories which are told on a daily basis in Israel and all around the world. But this one, this story, is a little different for me personally. Because this man, Itzhak Kotowski, was my great-grandfather. And when I saw the way that Poland and the local community of schools here in Poland openly and positively advance this dedication I knew that we are actually living in a special time, in a new time of the Polish-Jewish relations. Actually, ever since my very good friend, Johnny Daniels, and I'm very lucky to know you, ever since he introduced me to the activity of From the Death, I have had a new appreciation for the serious effort and the serious manner in which Poland today choose to learn from their history, from our common and shared history. And one particular element of this history is the courage of the righteous heroes. The same Polish righteous heroes that this building will commemorate, I hope, not in a very long time from now. And that is exactly what we have come here today to remember, all of us, courage. A real and pure courage. And courage, my friend, is not an obvious thing to have. Definitely not during a very, very hard and bloody war. Because let's think together, what is courage? What is true and pure courage? Some people will tell you that this is a complete lack of fear. But you tell me, when one chooses to save the life of another, of people he or she never met, and don't really know, while risking his own life and indeed the life of his family, of his nearest and dearest friends. Is he not afraid? Well, of course he is afraid, really afraid. Actually, he is petrified. But even though he is petrified and risking everything he had and all he ever loved, he is willingly choose to be courageous. And this is amazing. And courage, therefore, is a much, much stronger quality, is a much higher virtue. In the words of the great Nelson Mandela, he said, courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over fear. And you know, my friend, as we face our daily challenges, whether it be from the mundane to the grand political decision, we all seek inspiration. And I choose every day to receive inspiration from my beautiful, inquisitive children, 
from my better half, my wife, Edith, from my young and brave country, and from our long Jewish history, which we can be also defined, I think, as the triumph over fear. We're a courageous survival. But the greatest inspiration, inspiration I can ever dream to receive is from you, exactly from you, righteous Polish heroes. Because meeting you here and hearing your amazing stories, well, it will send me back home to Israel, to Jerusalem, with a great deal of true Polish inspiration, of true Polish courage. As the chair of the Israeli-Polish Friendship Group in the Israeli Parliament, the Knesset, I hope to spread this message of Polish courage far, loud, and wide. We want to bring as many Israeli children to visit here in Poland, to visit this special building, Arthur, that will be built here. We want them to hear those amazing stories of righteous heroes, to get this important message and to learn this very important lesson. Because it is exactly these values which have kept the Jewish state safe and strong. And it is exactly these values which must be infused by future generations, both in Israel and in Poland. So I, as I address you here today, I must admit, my emo emotions are running wild. Because here I am, the Deputy Speaker of the Israeli Knesset, the Deputy President of the Israeli Parliament, the Parliament of the Nation State of the Jewish people, the grandson of a Holocaust survivor, and the great-grandson of a murdered Polish Jew. The father of two beautiful young Israelis standing here speaking to a true courageous Polish hero from another generation, from another time. And so I think to myself, what can our generation learn from your generation? And how can we, our generation, can pass that on to the next generations? My friends, the courage you display is inspiring. But it goes farther than that. Young generation, in po your generation in Poland fought and died for your freedom. And your parallel generation in Israel fought and died for our freedom. And it is privilege of freedom, the privilege of liberty, combined with the courage to fight for it, which we must never, never take for granted. Ladies and gentlemen, honorary dignitaries and righteous hero, thank you so much for inviting me here today, and may we all continue to take great inspiration from this message and from this important project. Dear righteous hero, however much you tried, unfortunately, you could not save the life of my grandfather or the life of his family because they wasn't lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time to meet with people like you, to meet with courageous people like you that will open the door and will hide them and save their life. But you did open your door and you did open your heart to many, many other Jews. You helped them hide and you saved their life. And I came here today, we all came here today to salute you for that to thank you, and it is important for me that you will know that we will be eternally grateful, humbled, and inspired by you, by your courage, and by your story. Because you, the righteous among the nations, who did, who hid, and saved Jews during the war, even when it was hard. But it was no less important for me to stand here this evening and make it very, very clear that the meaning the, me the real meaning of Israel, the real meaning of a strong state of Israel is that Jewish people will never have, have to hide anymore. Todaraba, thank you, Jenkuyen.